Hi everybody. It's been a long day, uh, even though we started work at 11.30 today, uh, straight down to the toilets to give them a bit of a, a brush up and uh, clean right through. Um, Wendy did the ladies and the uh, family room, which uh, at one end of the toilet block and I did the men's and the sort of spare toilet which we leave open um, while we're cleaning and closing off the others so that people have at least one uh, facility that they can use there's usually a queue outside it though um, it took us an hour uh, to do the whole thing so uh, we were straight back to the office for about a uh, quarter to um, one actually so 11.30 till 12.30 cleaning the toilets and then um, quarter to one bit of a handover with the managers and um, straight into it with some check-ins and some more uh, site patrols and so on we had a bit of an issue today with um, there's a couple of well there's a couple of children staying on the site who have come to our attention a few times well four or five and while I was uh, showing somebody to their pitch um, sort of mid afternoon I got a couple of a couple of kids came over to me and said oh we're you know, there's some boys throwing sand at us over by the playground and filling the sink up and so on. So I had to go and deal with that. Turns out it was these two lads again involved and, you know, I just had to send them back to their caravan and have a, a really stern word with them and settle everybody down. So that was, you know, that's one of the not so nice parts of sort of being a warden on a caravan site is they have to you know you have to be the congenial host and be sort of jolly and fun most of the time but then you have to deal with the horrible bits as well of sort of trying to keep everybody happy whilst not coming across as sort of this grumpy old man or grumpy old woman that doesn't want anybody to have any fun so you have to keep in mind that everybody's safety and everybody's happiness is involved and you have to strike a, a sort of happy medium balance. But these two kids were sort of, you know, wielding water pistols, not not a big thing in itself, but um, one of the other children had been told definitely by their mother not to get wet. Um, obviously they'd been having too much fun already. And... Um, <laughs> they got they've been sprayed by the water pistol so the poor lad was in tears um but i you know i had to sort of comfort him a little bit uh and and say that he could send his mum to me and i would explain but these other two lads were wielding sort of uh it looked like a a broken in half um sort of one of those ski poles walking stick things with a rubber handle but they'd, they'd broken it in half and they had those like, crushed metal, broken, sharp ends, and they you know, had one each, and they were wielding them around. You know, it looked quite pretty dangerous. So I sent them packing, but I did have a chat with their mother a bit later on, who came down to see us, um, rather angry that uh, their sons had been involved uh, in trouble again. Well, there's one son and a cousin, so. But anyway, that all ended uh, nicely. We haven't seen them on the campsite since, those boys. But um, So they've been kept well under control by their parents. So um, if their parents ever see this, well done. Um, <laughs> that's really good, thank you. Um, but what also what I'd like to do is have a bit of a shout out to um, a couple of our subscribers. Um, a big <laughs> thank you to Stella. So yes, I mean, really mean Stella, um, who asked that question from yesterday uh, about how we met. So thanks very much for that, Stella. You've asked some other questions, and we will get to those. Um, one, uh, you've asked to see more pictures. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that. I've got um, 
we've got a storage box full of pictures of old um, and I know my sister has a suitcase full of photos in her loft that I want to get hold of and digitize um, I bought an app for my iPad where I can just dump a load of photos down and it recognizes sort of shapes and sizes and scans them all as separate photos at once so I'll be doing that um, hopefully that'll be quite quick although there's probably about two or three thousand photographs in all mine and my sister's but there'll be some good stuff um, so thanks Stella for raising all that stuff um, they also asked how much we earn well we work on an hourly rate we have fairly standard um, fairly standard hours although they're flexible uh, we earn minimum minimum wage here in the UK which <clears throat> when we started was seven pound twenty and from the 1st of April 2017 we got a pay rise to seven pound fifty an hour so between us when we're working we get paid fifteen pounds an hour as as a couple when we're working together although we're paid separately That's just how I sort of see it in my mind um, also like to give a shout out to uh, Colin and June um, who are visiting the campsite right now they're subscribers well you Colin and June are subscribers thank you very much for watching and I've really enjoyed our little chats we've had as I've been going around the site emptying bins and doing bits and pieces so really nice to put a, a real life person to the other side of the camera and see our subscribers uh, in real life um, we are quite careful about not telling people or not publicizing where we work um, we've been advised to do that um, just because uh, I know uh, none of you and uh, any of our 560 subscribers right now none of you are nutcases but <laughs> there are people that might not wish us quite as well so um, I, I'm not sure why that would be but we've been advised not to publish our work address because we're here all the time anyway um, it's been quite a long day it's it, we finished uh, we've just finished work uh, and Wendy's actually still working she's she's off down doing a quick toilet check cleaning through um, and I've taken that opportunity to sit here, make a video, and drink a beer. So, um, cheers to Wendy for taking up that end of the hard work. And here's to me to taking up this end of the easy work. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye for now.